And I want to state from a survivor's perspective, Trudeau doesn't care, Ford doesn't care, Arif doesn't care, and the government doesn't care. Against women. Before we welcome our witnesses, I would like to acknowledge and provide this trigger warning. We will be discussing experiences related to violence against women. This may be triggering to viewers with similar experiences. If at any point you feel distressed or need help, please advise the clerk. For all the witnesses and for all members of Parliament, it is very important to recognize that these are very difficult discussions. So let's continue to try and be as compassionate as we can. I would like now to welcome our witnesses. As an individual, we have Kate Alexander, founder of End Violence Everywhere. We also have Megan Walker in the room, advocate to end male violence against women. From the Peel Regional Police, we have Nick Milinovich, Deputy Chief of Police, joining us by video conference. You will each have five minutes for opening remarks, followed by rounds of questions. At this point, I will give the floor to Ms. Alexander to start. You have five minutes. Fortunate to be here today. I'm supposed to be dead. On July 31st, 2021, exactly three years ago today, I sent the two word WhatsApp message, please help to a friend who thankfully believed me. My ex was beating me. All 6'3", approximately 250 pounds of him because he couldn't find his car keys. For four hours, with his fists, his feet, a wooden rolling pin, door wells, he split my head open in three places, gouged my eyes out with his thumbs, kicked my ribs, and tortured me in ways I can feel but can't fully describe. I do not know how my body survived it. My ex enjoyed what he did to me. He threatened to kill my family, the police were going to leave me for dead, but my former neighbor intervened. And after all that, guess what your criminal injustice system gave me? A peace bond. All eight charges, five in the provincial and three in the federal, were stayed against my ex. And I can't say his name because it will forever be known as alleged abuse. I ask of you exactly what I asked Justice Himmel who had the tears in her eyes on March 26, 2024, when I received the peace bond. Why does he abuse and why is he allowed to get away with it? He abuses because he is publicly and personally rewarded for it, and he is allowed to get away with it because you, the government of Canada, lets him. Abuse is a choice, a moral failing, and it is also inexcusable. Even Three years later, my ex is still abusing me. I am suing him as the only form of legal justice I have left, and he has put in a meritless counterclaim as a continuation of abuse against me. He states I was self-injurious and I stole his Rolex after. He is lying under oath. You will listen to me because I am Caucasian, educated, and a member of an industry which holds space in the public eye. But these issues have been plaguing people everywhere across the nation for so long in the dark corners. But now we are in the light. We will shine until there is retribution. We will break the stigmas down into the nothingness that they are. There are no stereotypical victims. There are only stereotypical abusers. IPV and SA happens in all cultures, all social economic statuses, races, ages, genders, but so predominantly with women and children. Today is not about me. Today is about us and what this means going forward. You have granted me the honor of speaking on behalf of all men, women, non-binary, and children, survivors of violence. And I want to state from a survivor's perspective, Trudeau doesn't care, Ford doesn't care, Arif doesn't care, and the government doesn't care.